how are you guys doing it is december 1st and as you can see my room is all packed up except for maybe a few things okay uh all these pillows i think i'm just gonna pile them in my back seat and just take them to the new house i still have a little things that i have not packed because of spiritual reasons as you can see i still have my uh santissima muerte out and I will not pack her up until the last day. I will take her in my car with me over to the new house because I don't want um, to put her in the box that's already full of all the other stuff that I'm taking over there that's very breakable because she's not going to fit. I have packed most of my clothes. <laughs> Uh, some of them not all of them but I'm still packing y'all and I'm about to go get my kids and I still have a few boxes and also need to pick up more boxes I need to do laundry I have just so much to do you guys I am so sorry but the good news is that my moving date actually got pushed back until Tuesday so I might be able to do some uh, vlogmas I might be able to do some vlogmas um, while we're packing while we're unpacking at the new house and do a little mini tour before all the furniture gets in there maybe I don't know but as you can see it's kind of oh it's all blurry I'm sorry guys our um, I have not gotten in my backyard to even pack yet I have like a little altar table back there some plants oh I'm just gonna have to get that and then the other day the whole block lost electricity and we had to break out our hurricane uh, lamps but this one I had made on a video and this was a spell lamp a hoodoo lamp and I was actually burning that as well so yeah that's why this fireplace looks like that but power came back on like 30 minutes so we weren't out it without it for long so I'm just showing you guys my dirty house right now because we're like totally I'm gonna show you this over here we are just packing I have like all these clothes I'm giving away and this is like boxes boxes just junk all on the table I still have to pack that china cabinet over there and get all the breakable things wrapped and um uh, I just really have to give away so much stuff and under here there's this is full of blankets pillows old Christmas decoration and I can't get in there because it's a little bitty door I'm gonna have to wait till my kids get home to actually have them drag everything out of there and this is my husband's office he's he's packed mostly everything as you can see besides his computer but yeah and there's so much upstairs like all that is I'm still working on the upstairs so I'm glad that we got the move date pushed back till Tuesday because I would have not been finished in time and that would have been terrible <laughs> so that's why I'm like yay okay I'm dragging you guys back in my dirty room um I still gotta get all that stuff back there my it's so dirty I need to wash I took down all my makeup and I've condensed all my makeup into this little box and my essentials and I, of course I had to leave my brushes and a few of my brushes in there and my lamps for if I decided to make a video but this is where I put all my makeup and lots of makeup items I just packed it in one of these little cute crates from Walmart and a lot of the makeup stuff is in here as well so I'm probably gonna take these myself in my car because I don't trust movers <laughs> with my makeup mm -mm. okay so thank you guys I'll be back later on hi y'all um yeah so October day two I didn't put the first one up so I'm just gonna lump these two together 
because I really didn't do a video video I just kind of showed you my packing progress and I mean who wants to see that right so today I want to pop on and talk to you guys about you know this time of year um, December the end of the year the winter the winter solstice um, let's talk about you know a lot of people feel like this time of year is very magical and they want to do more spells um, a lot of times people get depressed this time of year and they a lot of people uh, want to turn to magic or some type of spiritual path to fulfill a void that might be missing and so if you're you know coming upon uh, you know a, a new journey or a new path because you feel like there's a void and there's something missing um, you know congratulations that you are starting a spiritual path but just so you know there's nothing missing okay <laughs> The only thing that you're missing is not you or any part of you. The only thing that's really missing is just the knowledge, okay? Um, there are things that have to be learned and things that people know that make them feel more fulfilled inside, make them more confident, make them not react so, you know, crazy when some certain things happen knowledge is what keeps people calm because they know the truth they don't react as fast as people without certain knowledge okay so this time of year I like to call it um, you know when it's cold and you're cuddled up with cho hot chocolate or coffee uh, with you know your cat your dog your significant other your kids whoever okay this time of year is really good for learning okay because this time of year is the dark time of the year and when you're learning this time of year I think it kind of sticks more because you're inside you're more focused you're not looking outside oh look at the, you know you're you're warm you're in one spot for a long time you know you're at peace so this is a good time of year to start on your spiritual journey and learn you know read research a lot of stuff like that okay um, this is why I said the time of year that Christ was born which is uh, you know Christos consciousness so in the dark time of year so this is why you need to get that book that you've been eyeballing and haven't picked up to read uh, y'all my hair I just I didn't do nothing to it. Okay. Um, so yeah, y'all get a book, y'all start researching or whatever, and you'll feel more fulfilled. I promise you. If, if you're depressed, go, go read. I can tell you, um, a long time ago, I was feeling this void. I was depressed. I was upset. I was about to do something crazy. You guys, I was about to do something crazy, like literally crazy. Okay. But there was something a voice inside me that said go get that book that you've been stalling on reading to calm down because <laughs> you're gonna do something crazy if you don't find something to take your mind off of this okay so I went and got the book and I sat down and read it and as I read this book my mind just opened and I forgot all about whatever issue I was having and I learned so much that the issue that I was having was fixable like I fixed it like in a few days it was it was fixed it was done okay um, so that experience that I was having could have been life-changing if I had not stopped and calmed myself down and grabbed a book and started reading okay because the knowledge that the book gave me basically solved my problem if I had not gotten up and gotten that book, I'd probably be in jail or <laughs> dead or something. I don't know. But <laughs> women are very emotional at times and they react crazily when they're not, you know, balanced with knowledge or logic. 
they don't know how to balance those emotions okay because a lot of times those two logic and emotion they don't go together if you don't have the knowledge to know that you're supposed to merge them together to make a decision okay so I know you're gonna ask me what the name of the book is and what the problem was but I rather not go into that <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, it was a long long time ago when I was young 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 and and silly and um, you know in love and overreacting of course is all like young girls do but the book solved the problem okay um, and I'll just tell you what the book kind of was about it was touching on universal law okay universal law so um, also it changed my entire life because that was the first time I had ever kind of read about universal law you know I've already I've studied witchcraft and all that kind of stuff but never did I see in a witchcraft book universal law so we're crossing out of witchcraft Wicca hoodoo into metaphysics so the knowledge that was explained through metaphysics changed my life because even when you're a witch and you don't have the knowledge of certain things you still tend to overreact because they don't give you the science behind what you're doing or the spell work or what it's supposed to represent or how it works you know they just say do this light a candle turn around three times and spit you know that's not going to calm your nerves so when I tell you to read it's for your own benefit as a person it's for your own spiritual growth as well okay uh, so if you do, if you don't know what the universal laws or the universal principles I know people will get stuck on words so let me put it out there some people call it universal principles some people call it universal laws whichever one you call it you'll probably be able to google it universal laws universal principles and it'll come up and you can read what it's all about it is you know how to navigate the matrix the world and change things to get the outcome you want and blah 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 okay so y'all go read about that you can get it online for free you don't have to buy a book back then it was not back then I wasn't really online a lot I was not on Facebook I wasn't on YouTube back then this was like long time ago y'all. so now y'all can get it free <laughs> um, so I wasn't I don't know if I was gonna do vlogtober or not I might I mean vlogtober we're in December vlogmas y'all okay I'm, I'm like two months behind um I'm gonna try to put some out as much as I can I can't promise y'all cuz y'all know I'm moving I'm packing doing all kind of crazy stuff y'all want to see oh, oh boxes yeah now I'm all done unpacking my closet I mean packing my closet I wish I was done I wish I was unpacking but we close on the house Monday so we're moving in Tuesday the um, I thought we were going to be closing Friday but there's some stupid law well it's not stupid but there's some law that says that you have to have the paperwork in your hand before you close the house for three days to you know go over everything and then you can close so that's that's what we we have to do okay so yes this time of year is a good time for knowledge okay and if you already got the knowledge and you say hey I already got the knowledge what, what can I do the good time I mean yeah the time of year is really good for manifesting money abundance why because it's the end of the year as far as you know this calendar and the energy from all the people around you all the people everywhere that celebrates the holidays they're thinking about money they're thinking about gifts they're thinking about giving so the energy is out there to receive abundance so if you can tap into that energy um, you know do spells this time of year for abundance and money it's gonna be very potent your energy is gonna be potent because it's all up in the frequency okay um, a good place to go like if a lot of people they'll call it energy work but it's psychic vampirism 
if you're a people watcher and you go places where there's lots of crowds and people you can um, get some of their energy uh, and if you're into crystals you can store the energy in crystals or you can store it within and when you go to do your money spell you can push it out back into the spell work or the the, the intention into the universe so go to like a mall go to expensive stores where people are shopping go see the smiles on their face when they're buying stuff um you know go where there's like lots of people that are in the spirit you know that you want you know abundance their people are shopping and spending money like go and watch those people you can even bring crystals and like set them out on the table maybe sit in the expensive mall in your city and put your crystals on the table and like uh in the food court or something i don't know or you can just like i said absorb the energy into yourself and you'd be surprised how quick your spells are going to work. You're, you're going to be surprised how random people just come up to you and say, hey, here you go. You know, I got like today, I got free stuff today. And I was like, before I left my house, I said, I'm going to get something free today. Um... I'm tracking abundance, blah, 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 blah. You know, sometimes I just do this stuff for fun to see if it works. You know, I'm like, yeah, I know it works. I'm just, I'm, sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm going to get something free today. I, I feel like I, I need something free. Okay, so I go ahead and manifest that. So I walk out. And we go to lunch. Me and my husband go to lunch. And we were offered a free table side uh, guacamole. And... If y'all know what guacamole is, look it up. It's like a dip you you dip your chips in. Made from avocado. So, you know, normally if you tried to order it on the menu, it'd be like $8 or something like that. But they gave it to us free. I don't know why, but they did. And I was like, thank you so much. Uh, they didn't give it to anybody else free. You know, we were watching. We are like, wonder, wonder, wonder why they picked us. You know, what why um <laughs> but I was happy and I didn't reject it I said oh thank you very much and it was just cool you know I just thought it was interesting that I wanted something free and then I got something free not even a few hours later okay so this time of year is really good for attracting abundance that's why you know even the colors this time of year are green you know for the pine everlasting red passion you know um creativity so you guys instead of i know a lot of people are like why do you celebrate christmas you're a witch i don't celebrate the christian aspect of christmas i celebrate the energy and the spirit of the holiday you know because if you go and research you're gonna find that the december 25th date it's not going to add up historically to you know the Jesus story so you can get you know it, it represents something in astrology you know the Sun being reborn after it sinks for three days and comes back up and that's kind of like you know it's all astrology so you know it represents the consciousness being reborn you know the Sun being reborn okay so it has nothing to do with being christian or anything it's the energy that surrounds this time of year yes a lot of people are christian and they feel like whatever they believe or, and feel like the energy from them is still the same abundant you know the energy is still giving the energy is still you know spending money so it doesn't matter what they believe it just you're picking up on that energy which is what everything basically is you know it's because you believe a certain way doesn't mean your energy is not going to be of good use to me you know so keep that keep that in mind and also like things that sh like pick up on energy crystals water 
So let's just say you don't have a crystal and you're sitting in like the gallery or someplace. You don't look crazy putting your crystals out on the table like, oh, who is that crazy person? Get you a bottle of water, open it, set your water on the table, and that energy is going to go into this water, okay? So you're going to have some abundant financial money water. Just all those credit card swipe vibrations and smiles and gifts and sales and holiday music. You know, all that's going to go in here, okay? And you can put your top back on it, take it home. When you get ready to do your money spell, break this thing out. Use it in your spell work or drink it. And when you speak, there goes the vibration, okay? Um, I know you're going to ask me, well, what spell is that? What are you going to do with that? I, you know, people have their own money spells. I have a few in my playlist. Y'all go check it out. I'll try to link it below. But like, I would, if it were me and I just had the water, I would use this water as like money holy water. Like, I would charge it and all that good stuff. And I'm like, okay, I want to attract some abundance to me today. And I've been saving this water. It has all this good energy in it. And, you know, I was I was sitting in front of Versace. And uh, all people were shopping in there, and I know there's a lot of good energy in here. So, spending with no guilt, spending freely. You know, when you when uh, rich people go shopping, they spend freely with no guilt because they know more is flowing in. So that's the energy that's in here. So you're gonna be like taking that water into you, which now becomes part of your vibration. Okay. And even the ideas, like this is crazy. This is this is metaphysical. You know? Even the ideas of the people who were there that day, you know, their confidence, their ability to earn and stuff like that is also in this water, you know. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when you have grave dirt and you get grave dirt from a, a grave of a person who is wealthy. Well, energy water, I call it vibration water, magical water, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, you know, you're taking it into yourself though, and it's becoming a part of you, which is something good that you want. Now, same thing, you know, you can do it with any type of um, element that absorbs frequency, you know what I mean? Crystals, yourself, because you're 70% water, you know? If you know how to visualize the energy coming into you and suck it in and you understand energy work, you don't even need the water. But if you want the water and save it, you know, if you're not well trained on how to do all that stuff with your body, it gives the water, okay? Um, some people take video, like they'll just video, you know, with the iPad or the iPhone or the Samsung, or whatever, and they'll go back and watch it later. And we live the experience and this is uh, like visualizing and also uh, feeling like you know how when you do use the law of attraction the law of attraction you say I feel this way and that feeling is what attracts things to you you can do it that way too that's probably a good way to do it but like some places are kind of like weird about people videotaping everything for like long periods of time because they think you know it's a setup for something in the future i don't know but <laughs> if you can get glimpse and pieces like on snapchat or something save your snapchat story you can do it that way okay if you don't want to like take a big old camera or your ipad out to film people but yeah that's a good thing to do this time of year um and you'll be surprised You'll be totally surprised at your results. And I want y'all to go out and actually try that. And like, come back to this video and comment of what happened, okay? I need to go and sit in front of a salon and get some good hair energy because <laughs> this is not it. Um, but seriously, go try it out and please tell me how it's gonna work for you okay or how it works for you uh, I'll be back I'm about to finish packing uh, and do things I don't want to do because I, I hate packing um, 
I feel really weird because my life's about to change. Moving is like a huge, major, you know, life change. So, um, it's just a lot of work, a lot of stress. But I try to stay stress free, you know, I find outlets and I have a lot of people that keep writing me asking me for readings and spells even though I'm supposed to be off this week, you know, um, packing and stuff. So I can't really do anything until next weekend, you guys. Next weekend. I should have my um, my witchy room set up by then, mostly my, my computer, my office. And I should be able to, you know, my altars and everything, I should be able to get back and, you know, to the swing of things like I want to. I like the holidays December is like the worst time to move it's like I can't decorate until I get to a new house I can't decorate till I unpack it's like ugh. what I'm gonna decorate it when a week before Christmas I don't know and then my daughter's birthday is in a week so. okay well thank you guys so much I'll see y'all in a few days all right bye